What's up, y'all? Love energy. The depression's super hitting me today. I'm very tired. It's not an easy day for me. I hope it's easy for you. Um, she had energy between the twin flames, and I did meet a, an identical twin today. Um, so one of the twins at my new work orientation. That was kind of fun that she shared that information with me. And uh, I mean, I was just sharing a little bit about my family. And then when she said that, I was like, wow. Um, Knight of Cups. So a message of love, care, compassion. They could be communicating kind words toward each other today. I just looked at these slippers because um, my sister bought me these for Christmas. I've worn them a lot, so they're kind of worn out, but Stars Above is the company, which I just think is interesting given the, the nature of the twin flame dynamic and how our souls, I don't know what you believe, but like come from the same star or uh, come from that same starting point. One soul that splits into two bodies is a twin flame connection. So unlike a soulmate, which is your souls speak to each other, this is twin flames are literally the same soul that has split into two. Kind of like how a, a literal twin is one cell that broke into two identical. They have the same DNA, right? I, th I think that's the science of it. It's been a while. So that that's something I learned in high school. Um, maybe even it was middle school, and my memory's good, but it's not perfect. Um, this is kind of depression and energy, but also commitment. Could be feeling negative about the commitment, but we'll see. I just feel like my glasses are dirty. I actually want to take them in and get them tightened, because they keep slipping down on my face. Oh yeah, so we still have this Knight of Cups in the shared energy. We'll keep that aside. Start with the feminine today. Communication. Communicating her wants, her needs, desires, um, as well as moving away from an emotional situation of the past. With the moon here, I feel like she's doing this um, secretly. This is an endeavor she's not sharing with many people, a journey she's doing almost alone. Kind of giving hermit vibes. Temperance is here. There's a healing energy in the energy today. A rebalancing. That's why that need to be alone. It's so vital to do that healing work. Um, we're closing cycles, closing chapters. The world is here to bring a grand finale, I'm hearing, <laughs> to the energy. Doors shutting. Um, karmic justice is here. Oh, judgment. Karma. Um, justice, too. But judgment is more about like how have your actions impacted others. What goes around comes around. If you've done good, good things will come to you. And vice versa. That's why a Lyft driver told me he loved me today. And said, I love you. You're my friend. You know, Just because he's driven me all over the place um, in the past few months while I've been without a vehicle. Um, and I didn't even necessarily register that... Um, I didn't recognize him or whatever, but apparently... My energy is such that I'm a memorable person in a lot of people's lives. So there's that love energy coming through in the feminine's energy. A lot of love that she's like giving all the time. So much so that she doesn't always register how, how impactful it is to the people around her. Um, to call someone your friend, that's, that's pretty meaningful. And he wasn't from America. He had a thick accent, but 
we we all know what friend means and that carries the same impact no matter where you go so that he used that word toward me today and even said i love you you're my friend you know and this is someone i don't even know the name of <laughs> that goes to show how just you know having a kind heart and being kind to others can truly make a, a beautiful difference and I didn't need those words today. So it's like all that love I had been giving came back to me today. In a moment, I was feeling very weak. I was feeling very sad. And then I needed that. Um, and it was powerful. Um, she's also putting up firm boundaries at this time, protecting her energy. Um, she, doesn't, she doesn't need to be disrupted or, or distracted from this difficult time. She needs to process these difficult emotions, in fact and um, do what it takes to, to get through it. And Destiny is here as well. So Spirit is guiding her to her higher, higher highest path. Um, it's, 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 it's emotional energy, but it's very important. Um, there's a shift happening right now. Look at the masculine's energy now. Any pronoun you want, I just use he for my story. Yeah, yeah, he goes, nah. He's kind of waiting optimistically for something. There's the sun there, so it's happy energy, but there is a, a deep reflection of self, a going within, a meditation or prayer. Um, just kind of the need again to be alone, just like the feminine. But his alone time is a lot different in that um, it honestly feels more hopeful. And she's, I think the energy has shifted, has swapped or switched. Because um, we, we had been seeing the masculine and the more heavy and depressed energy. And now we see the, the masculine feeling very optimistic about this um, inner work they're doing. And the feminine is now feeling that like heavier, um, uh, carrying the heavier um, aspect of the energy. But, you know, it's just so that the balance remains. Like he was carrying it, now she's carrying it. Um, so that they're sharing that burden a little bit. But they're both doing the work at this time and that's giving them victory. So the masculine's coming into his um, reign of power, really. It's really exciting. And he's going to get the Ten of Cups, which is... Just this beautiful family situation. Very, very abundant. Um, following a heartbreaking end. The Three of Swords. Which is why they're in that waiting energy now. Uh, because of that heartbreak. That needs to be processed. It can't be avoided. If it's avoided, it'll come back around. So then, once it's processed and um, healed from, then we have the Two of Cups, which is Twin Flames coming in beautiful heart chakra energy with the green there um, the new beginning in the fool so it's a new start to a relationship a brand new chance at love um, new love coming in for the king of wands fire sign energy here so that's all good that's all good i just want one card of advice for both twins or we'll do two cards so we can get one and then a clarifier Advice for the feminine side of the energy first. I'm just gonna spread them. Ace of Pentacles. Clarified by the Knight of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. So what the feminine's worried about right now is stability and um, spirits basically saying have faith because a big blessing is coming in, an unseen miracle of sorts. Um, financial gain is coming in quickly um, which will grant the feminine much more stability so that they can level up from the knight of pentacles into the king of pentacles and really have that abundance for being able to provide from, for themselves and be financially stable and independent. So it's like very, very beautiful progression there um, for the feminine, very successful uh, financial situation ahead, career moves, and also a reunion ahead between her and her twin. So have have faith is really the message for the feminine today. Keep working hard and have and keep the faith. Keep your heart open. 
for the masculine today. Advice. <clears throat> Hmm, the Page of Swords energies here. Clarified by the devil. So with the masculine, it's a warning. Um, it's sort of a like protect your energy, put up firm boundaries warning right now I see because there is a very toxic entity and this is someone I feel from your past. Um, yeah, waiting, waiting, waiting. Um, make your moves in secret spirits kind of like saying like um move in silence right now because there's an evil energy like a really dark energy that's spying on you page of swords is always about spying um keeping tabs on you tracking you trying to figure out your next moves um so that they can sabotage um your success with your twin flame so yeah you are already in the king of pentacles energy i feel like spirit saying just focus on yourself focus on your stability and don't don't pour energy into this but also don't ignore it because um if you're aware that it's happening then you can put up protections around your energy that could involve you know prayer is like i think the strongest or just um lighting a candle you know something simple like that um, but this is a very deceptive energy, so they're going to try to attack you and, and, and make you, um, keep you from walking away from them, essentially. But I feel your back is already turned toward this person, so there is no, I don't feel there is any going back. But they are trying to, like, sneak back into your energy and bring you this heartbreak, just, like, restart the cycle of that. Um, so use your intuition and defend yourself against that entity, okay? So that's the story today. Have a beautiful uh, Monday.